What's up, guys and gals? My name is Valoran, and let's play some more Prominence Poker. Let's get in here and see who we can beat today. Bonus cut, 300, so 800 total chips. Yeah. Alrighty, finally found a game. It took us a little bit to uh, actually get into one. Hmm. Looks like we're going to be about four-handed, though. That's okay. It's all good. Move around here so we can see the whole table. Boom! High card. I'm the button. I love being the button. <laughs> Not even going to mess around with Ooh. A6 off. I can report a mic. Yeah. Let's go. Mm. Wow. You're a fucking douchebag wrestler. It's like, hey, fold on the clock. All I have to do is 50. We have someone on voice chat. Mm. Oh. 50 bat. Yeah, let's go, bitch. Oh, and he's a shit talker, too. Dude with the purple mm, afro and the glasses. Let's see what you got. Come on. Oh, scared. Oh, 50. Fuck that. Fucking let's put the pot. And then some. Ace Jack, you ain't Quiver got shit. Now. Well, I you guess you could have Jack Nine. Straight. Jack Nine would be good too. How about the pot? Can we go again? Let's do it. Oh, clap your heart away. Motherfucker's <laughs> got King Deuce. Oh, Serious King Deuce. <laughs> really? So Are you fucking kidding me? You're gonna talk and all that here's shit, some guns for the fucking and table. you barely won with King Deuce. <laughs> uh, pocket threes. I'm just gonna call the call the big blind. Listen to this guy talking shit in the background. <laughs> Hopefully he watches <laughs> this video on Just YouTube no, and make him sound like a dumbass. You could have nothing. Yeah, might as well raise it. Might have nothing. Ooh. That's right. Look at that hand again, buddy. <laughs> oh, no, <I'm> <laughs> nice gun, bro. That went into the spot. You guys are lucky. That was probably a bad raise for me. I probably shouldn't have did that because you know pocket threes. Unless unless I hit a set on the turn or the river, I'm, I'm probably pretty screwed. But that shut his fucking mouth though. Listen to him. He ain't saying nothing. Oh, he's gonna raise it up a little more, huh? Huh? Or no, the other guy raised it up. Wow. That's another what? Buck seventy-five to me. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. Check to you. What you got there, big guy? You gonna bet 500 out there, huh? My threes are no good. There is four over cards on the board. Oh, and this fucking idiot going all in. Seriously, are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god, you better have a jack. I'm gonna fold it, but you better have a fucking jack. 
10k oh see look at that you fucking idiot are you serious <laughs> three five really <laughs> oh my god goodbye rookie ass player Sit there. Oh, you're gonna add some more money. Let's see how quick he loses that next five grand. I don't like to talk too much shit, but whenever you get on the uh, uh, using the the voice chat on an online game like that, and yeah, I don't know if he knew it or if he didn't know it, but just talking that much shit, I mean, oh, oh my goodness, you you got to be a dumbass. Plain and simple, you have to be a dumbass to do that. Clown probably has something like, I don't know, Jack Four, maybe King Deuce. Hmm. Hell, even if I'd have played. My two pair was no good. Oh my god, here we go again. What is he doing? Pointing to the stands, calling his shot? Come on, you ain't Babe Ruth. You ain't no baseball player. I think he's trying to lose money. I really do. I mean, I, I, what else can it be? 7 5. Seriously? It was suited. Don't get me wrong, it was suited. But he was trying to chase a, uh, a a straight, but he was wow, he was like too far away and and obviously in La La Land and uh, you know now he's just gonna stand there with his fanny pack around his damn waist and you know I mean he is the true tourist. My character's name is the tourist, but he is the true tourist. He is someone that can actually be a nightmare at the uh, poker table. Uh, someone who doesn't really know how to play but will play any two cards and is probably got that type of fall in a bucket of shit and come out smelling like a rose kind of luck that can actually bankrupt the table ace three of diamonds to call 200 okay. Probably a bad call, but I'm gonna do it. You gotta protect my blinds. That is the most ridiculous fucking answer anybody ever says. Oh, I'm protecting my blinds. Yeah, well, I just said it. Yeah, I can join the dumbass crew. Wow, and it came out all spades. Please, someone drop at least 50. Bet down so I can get the hell out of this pot. I should have never called. That's my own fault for calling like that. I I shouldn't have did that. I know better than to do that. That's stupid. He's probably got like Jack Nine and he hit Broadway off of that. Or he flopped a flush with something like Ace Three. You know, flopped a flush. Oh, really? He's going for a flush draw with a queen with a pair of queens. He's got tens, so he's got a set of tens. So see, 
another reason you have to watch out who you're playing against even in these online games like this you know whether it's poker stars online or or uh, uh, you know or uh, whatever these online poker places are and you know even games like this you can actually get some tells by watching the way people look at their cards and, you know what you know what have you well, of course you're going all in junior how much you got 175 what the hell do I have two four of diamonds yeah no, that's that's not me Matter, man, you got a bad back? Sit your fanny pack ass down. There you go, good boy. <clears throat> Called him with a jack stick, and he's got 10 8 off. Board comes out 7 4 ace. Jack six is still good. Jack six is still good. He needs a ten or an eight, so he's got six outs. And he didn't hit it. Goodbye. <laughs> Down the road you go. Fancy shirt right there. It's real quiet now. He didn't want to say anything. Everybody probably heard him talking shit, and he's like, "Oh, I shouldn't have said nothing on here." I call it. What the hell did I have anyway? Nine eight off. Okay. I got part of that. I mean, I got bottom pair, but uh... we'll check. We'll be nice because I'm in early position and I don't really want to show a whole lot of strength right here. Um, then again, I don't want to let old fancy shirt right there get over on us either. But now the guy to my right calls. That probably lets me know I need to get out of the pot right there because my eights are no good. And now with the with the uh, turn being another ace, yeah, my eights are definitely no good because everybody knows the famous story about aces and eights. It's called the dead man's hand. I don't want to fuck around with that. a smart fold on my part there's three hearts out there on the board so somebody's got a flush draw oh fancy shirt there has to keep looking at his damn cards because he can't remember but uh, uh, he didn't hit nothing king nine plus. oh my fucking lord this guy is epitome or is in the dictionary if there was a definition of of uh, donkey poker or any two cards are good, it would have him in it. I, I, I swear it would. <sighs> Ace deuce offshoot on the button. Yeah, oh my god, he folded. Fancy shirt folded. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, I'll get out of this one too. There's my ace, but I'm pretty sure ace deuce is not any good. There is what four other hands out there. There is three or at least two other aces. So there's one on the board, one in my hand, two other aces that are out there. And anything ace three, ace four, ace five, ace whatever was better than my ace deuce. So yeah. Unless you want to try to pull the wheel, ace deuce ain't gonna help you at all. Unless Maybe if it's suited, you know, you can get, you know, pull pull a flush off of it, but 
not unsuited. Not at That old boy popped out to 800, so you know he's got an ace in his hand. Or at least a seven. And if he's got a seven, he just hit a set. Uh, now, I highly doubt he has a seven, because if he does, he just voted. There's only two sevens left, two aces left, and I highly doubt he has that. So he either has an ace or an A7. We'll find out. They're calling with Jack 8. Oh my god. He's got Ace 10. So see, I told you he either had an ace or something. Um, and my ace deuce was no good. Actually, I'd have split the board. I'd have split the pot. Because it had been aces and sevens with a queen, my deuce, his ten would not have played, so I'd have ended up splitting the pot with him. But I made the smart move, not play. Did I really just call with 6-5? Yes, I did. And it's offsuit, but it's only 50 bucks right now. Oh, Junior right there up to 200. That's another 50. Should I be a dumbass and pop in that other 50? I've only lost, what, a thousand so far. So, yeah, we'll call that 50. And we'll get dirty with it. Six five off, man. Whew. I need a whole lot of help. I need runner runner to make it straight, but that ain't gonna help. Um, a whole lot of help. I should have never been in his hand. Somebody bet, please. Oh, I think he did. What did he bet? Oh, I don't even need to know. I'm out. Let's see. What, oh, somebody called him. Look at him. So he's going to lose now 15,000 chips. Just like back to back. That's, oh my goodness. Pocket eights. Pocket threes. And queen deuce. See, that motherfucker right there just wants to give away chips. That's the only, only explanation. He just wants to give away chips. You can't tell me anyone's actually going to play Queen Deuce and figure out, oh, well, I'm going to win off of this and there ain't shit on the board for me. You can't be that stupid. That's 15,000 in chips. Back to back that he just lost. That ain't dumb. He just tripled that guy up right there. Completely tripled his ass up. Damn, 310 shit. If I wasn't in the big blind, I wouldn't play this. Oh, see, now he's gone. He's probably out of chips now. Now he's got to go back to the uh, to the uh, campaign and try to make up some chips again. Yeah, not even for an extra 50 will I play this. Yeah, a nine would be nice on the. Uh, on the turn that would have gave me a straight but I'm not in it so woulda coulda shoulda <sighs> who the hell is he waving at uh, kinda look like a kid rock reject mm. Mm. We have lost 1,100 in chips so far because we've made bad calls, bad raises. Um, even though I've been putting up videos that shows, you know, I'm winning, I'm winning, and you know, I'm I'm always up on my chip count. It doesn't mean that you're always going to win. You know, you're not. Nobody's impervious to 
losing. You're you're always gonna find somebody that can, and I hate to say it, outplay you. You know, whether it's donkey style poker or whatever it is. See, I'm in the big blind now with King Deuce, and I wouldn't even wipe my ass with this hand. But anyway, you're always gonna find somebody who is gonna be able to either outplay you or outluck you. And I say outluck. Um, yeah, no, I'm not playing that. Um, when I say outluck, I mean, like I said, fall in a bucket of shit and come out smelling like a rose type of luck. Yeah, and that that's sometimes that's just not me. You see how the cards are not folding out right for me. Um, I am kind of superstitious on where I like to sit at a table. Uh, I don't mind the ends, but I don't like being close to the deal. Uh, I don't know why, but every real live tournament that I've ever been in, uh, I've never done well sitting next to the dealer. Never. I've always lost, um, or uh, I've always walked away with less than what I started. I've never broken even or uh, actually came away ahead. Sitting next to the dealer just doesn't work for me. I usually like to sit directly across from the dealer. That way I can see what the dealer's doing, and I can look left and right, and I can see everyone around me. Um, I know sitting next to the dealer is a lot easier to see what's going on because you got everybody in front of you. But for some reason, for me, sitting next to the dealer just doesn't work. It's like the dealer is bad luck, bad juju, something. I don't know what the fuck you want to call it, but the dealer fucks me up every time I sit next to him. Holy shit. Finally a decent hand. Kid Rock actually won something. Give him his money. Chip him up. Shit. Six off suit. What should we do? Let's see. We got a bunch of calls, calls, calls. We got a call. How about a call? Come on, big blind. Just check it down, buddy. Check, 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 check. You're in the big blind. You're really. Hmm. Motherfucker. I'm a. Uh, six, eight off suit. They are connectors. Oh, oh shit, there's too much money in the pot to say no. Everybody that does that, usually they have something big in their hand. You know, which this just like fucked me up big time. All I need is a heart though, and, and I'm probably pretty good, maybe. I don't know. But I'm gonna check though. All them hearts scare the shit out of me. Yeah, no, you can have it there, buddy. Sorry. Yeah, King Six. He had a heart. He was pulling a flush draw. I'd have beat him on the flush draw, though. If a heart would have came out. No telling that a heart would have ever came out. Like I said, woulda, coulda, shoulda. But I'm on the button now. Now's the time if I get a good hand to really push people around. Oh, and that ain't a hand worth a shit. Damn, again I wouldn't wipe my ass with that hand. Well, alright guys, uh, it looks like this round we are not doing very well. But I think this is a good place to end this video. Um, as I said before, playing next to the dealer does not do me any justice at all. Um, but we will come back next time. Hopefully we get a better seat or what I consider to be a better seat. So if you like the video, hit that like button, share it with your friends, let people know uh, what's going on in here. This is a pretty good game. 
Um, yes, you do have some some donkey style and people that don't know how to play, but for the most part, this is a really good game. So again, if you like the video, hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos. I do all kinds of gaming, so let me know what you think. Leave me a comment down below, and you guys take it easy. We'll see you later.